Isaac Perez Santos. Hello. Good morning, sir. You are charged with speeding on Douglas Avenue in the school zone. Yeah, I didn't notice that. You are charged with doing 31 miles per hour in a school zone. Now remember that, 31. The city does not charge you if you're doing 30. They give you a 10 mile cushion. I have taken the position that when the city charges you with doing 31, that they, can, they could also have charged you with doing 30 or 32. Okay. So I give you the benefit of the doubt. So I'm going to dismiss the case oh, because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Now, I know you were before me before. Oh, yeah, different, no. I, right? I remember that. And remember you telling me you were a boxer, right? No, I am. I, I am a boxer. You're still fighting, right? Of course. I'll All right. This month. Now, let me see your left hook. Seriously, let me see it. Yeah, you got you gotta, that, that was, you, I mean, you could even knock me out with that, <laughs> right? Are you a southpaw or are you no, a... No, righty. You're righty? Yeah. If you were fighting a southpaw, right, what strategy would you, you use fighting a southpaw? If I was a southpaw, yeah. what strategy would you use? I would, go, uh, I would, would fight you, and go would, to his left. Would you jab me to death or what would you do? I would jab you and I'd go to my left so you yeah. don't even know you're right. Just take it from me. Because you're a softball. Take it from me. I know a little bit about this stuff, right? I know. <laughs> I happen to know about this. If you're fighting a southpaw, listen to me, right? Right hand lead. If you're fighting a southpaw, right? Never mind jabbing. Right hand lead. Right hand lead all the time. You knock the southpaw out. Trust me, I know. Oh, you've done it before? I, I know this stuff. All right. <laughs> I know. That's good. Can't you tell? I mean, you can tell, see the athletic body, right? You know, <laughs> my, my dad was actually a prize fighter. Uh, when, my dad was born in Italy, came here, and uh, in his early years, he, in addition to other things, peddling fruit, he was also a prize fighter. And I remember him telling me, he'd take me to the gym, right hand lead fighting a southpaw, right hand lead fighting a southpaw. And trust me, it's the best mechanism. Just when you go to the gym next time, right, have somebody fight southpaw. Right, even right. though they're, they're right-handed. And just throw right-hand leads, you see, because they're, they're vulnerable, right? It's right here. Oh, yeah, it's easier. Yeah. You're throwing jabs. See, you're throwing jabs. You, you're fighting a southpaw. The southpaw's like this. Your jab's sitting there on. Exactly. Right-hand lead is over here. It's wide open. I want a percentage of the next fight you have, right? <laughs> I give you 5%. When is your next fight? Uh, next month, Dominican. Oh, in Dominican Republic. Yeah. What way do you? Oh, wait, 140, 140. 140. Well, yeah. we wish you well. Oh, man, thanks. All right, if you're fighting a southpaw, what do you do? Uh, right hand lead. Right hand lead. <laughs> I want you to go to the gym and try it out. All right. All right. Susan Marshall. Good morning. Susan comes up here with a big smile on her face, Inspector Carrion. You see this? I saw the list. A big smile. <laughs> I don't know why she's smiling. Her car's been booted. <laughs> yeah, the second time. It just got booted in February and cost me over $700 on the tow storage so to you get didn't the car your, out. So you didn't learn your lesson? I can't. I just couldn't afford it. I got up the money to pay that off. Well, by the time I got the money together to pay it off, it was over $700. Is there anything you want to tell me about this? Um, just Other than the fact that you're broke. I'm broke. <laughs> That's about it. It's a mandatory $100 boot fee. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to tell me before I make a decision? On the tickets? Yeah, I made a decision already. I just want to see what you think. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the tickets have been for a very long time. They've tripled. and. I'm going to fine you $200 for the tickets. Okay. And it's going to be $100 for the boot fee. Okay. So it's going to be a total of $300. Okay. I'll give you a big break on That's this. That's a huge break. All right. I don't yes. want you coming back. I, wouldn't, I don't want to come I mean, back. Not that you don't have a pleasant personality. It's for your own benefit. <laughs> yes. You know, can you afford to pay that today? I can't afford the two hundred dollars today. That I can um, work out over time. I'm actually not working right now, but I would say within the next maybe two months, I could probably come up with the the remaining balance of the two hundred dollars. Miss Marshall, listen to me and listen carefully, okay? I gave you a big break on the tickets, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell you this: I would suggest very, very strongly mm -hmm. that you try to avoid getting any future tickets. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And yes. if you do get any tickets after this, pay them immediately. Okay. The second thing I'm going to tell you is that if you don't pay the $25 per month, mm -hmm. right, and the boot goes back on the car, which it will, mm -hmm. that's going to cost you $865. Okay. Because that was the original cost. Yep. So I'm giving you a break. I reduced it. Right. I understand people who have financial problems. I understand that. Mm -hmm. So all I'm trying to tell you is that I'm trying to convince you to help yourself. Mm -hmm. You got the message? I understand. You got it? Yes. We're going to be yes. watching you. <laughs> all right. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> all rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.